So we just did merge. Diff is kind of similar to merge. It's basically taking an object and showing the difference between the two. Actually, this description is out of date. So let's go take the challenge and we can see the tests. So we have foo, bar, and baz. Foo has name and age. Bar has name, age, and gender. Baz has name and gender. So like A, B, C variations. Notice that um, the values of name are all string, the values of, of age are all string, and the values of gender are all numbers. So there's no conflicts, at least in this case. So if we diff the two, uh, let's, let's look at foo and bar. The difference between them is this one, gender. Uh, if we diff bar and foo, then the difference between them is age. And we see that we get back, um, did I say that right? Bar, where is it? Bar and foo, which one is that? Bar and foo. The difference is gender. Yeah, because bar has gender, but foo does not. Oh, right, right, right. Yes, we're, yep, okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, yes, so... Cool. Where would you start with something like this? Oh, yeah. So uh, classic, similar structure to merge. Um, I'm actually going to use that um, more uh, sort of terse syntax that we saw before. So we're going to loop over uh, both of those. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to say, um, basically, now I'm going to say uh, just the same logic. So we're going to do L. We're, we're basically going to do merge, and then we're going to do like a key filter. So... I'm going to say L, I'm going to say uh, key extends key of uh, L, question mark, L of key, uh, L spar key. Uh, we can change that to P if you like. Um, we're getting a slight um, cool. problem there, so we can do... Same thing, yeah, we just have to do one more step. Yeah, key of R, question mark, I'll go ahead and format that question mark. Uh, else never... So this gets us merge, and mm -hmm. then we want to, one approach is to do a check here, and, and we can say, um, we can basically do some checks to filter the, the cell as, as never. Mm -hmm. um, with ex with exclude? So, uh, yes. So we're going to do um, exclude. Um, well, there's exclude, but what I was initially going to do is see if we can just check. Uh, so I'm going to say, is P in L? And is P in R? If so, never. Otherwise P, otherwise P. So we are eliminating it only if it is a, uh, it extends both um, properties. Perhaps not the cleanest solution. We can probably factor this yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, we, we can. So so this this whole section here, I'm going to like comment it. You're, it's exactly uh, the right path. You can do that with exclude using uh, using the and operator just like we did, or the intersection oh, yeah. operator before. So you can do key of L and R. Oh, if I can type. And that works. This, these are exactly equivalent, or at least I think they are. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Cool. Yeah, perfect. So that's one of the solutions. All the tests pass. Beautiful stuff. Um, there's one alternative I found. Let's, uh, I guess, actually, this is one of the alternatives. So let me switch it around. Here's a different one that is very similar, but it, scoot, it scoots around the, the kind of end stage problem with having to have all these extends by just doing that and operator again. It, it does a De Morgan's Law thing here or something. I don't know. This is a... Or, key of L or key of R. I think that might, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm kind of curious if that will high, work. High level De Morgan's law is, is great. Yeah. I haven't actually heard it uh, referenced in that forum, which, but you I can do, I was looking at this the other day. I, you know, one of the things I'm going to do after all the challenges, all, all the challenges are over is I'm going to put a, a talk together and submit it to some conferences to like what I learned or like crazy things I found while doing this. And one of them is how the intersection operator works. Um, maybe I'll show you after the call and I'll, I'll leave it for people yeah. to get excited yeah. after, uh, after the yeah. challenges are over to see that. But Okay, this, this is isn't algebra here, right? It's, right, yeah, exactly. Our theory is a thing that exists. <laughs> um, yeah, so okay, it doesn't it doesn't work like that, but there's this one. Um, oh, I did I did write up some notes on the and operator, the intersection operator. So uh, okay, let's let's see if these all pass. So this one passes. Whew, it's oh, terse, very, very minimal. Yeah, yeah. using the built-in operators again. So emit, we're intersecting L and R. And then what we're emitting is the keys of L or R, like all of them. 
Another way of writing that is this, emit L and R, so that part's the same, and then key of L or key of R. So what we're seeing is that key of L and key of R is equivalent to key of L or R. Yeah, which is, sounds like DeMorgan's Law. It sounds like DeMorgan's Law, doesn't it? I don't know. Uh, yeah. And then, let's see, there's this one. This one is interesting. This uses a, a hack. I, th I think it's a hack. So it uses required. Now, these are all required anyway, but actually this would fail if some of the things in the input or output were optional, which is not actually in the spirit of the challenge. So this is debatably a nope. Um, but I did uh, I did write a little bit. I'll put it here just to, as a teaser about how all this stuff works. So we can, I guess we can keep that challenge going. So. We have A, which is just an object that has, or an interface that has A with value string, and then B. If we do A and B, we get like mm. this thing here. We get A and and B, but they're like, it's almost like a union. They're like two separate things, right? But yeah, if, when you hover over it, it's it's displayed a certain way. Yes, um, and it, it doesn't work the same. Uh, like if I said uh, const, uh, X and we typed it as lowercase a and we come in here uh, B string you'll need you'll that will need to be a value of course. oh oh oh, oh um, sorry uh, yeah Ooh, yeah a, B. sorry I'm in like type type land so yes. so that that works for that um, but if we want to make the type that's resultant be kind of merged we can we can pass it through required and re what is required? I mean, let's, let's grab it and, uh, and bring it over here into our view required looks like this, right? Um, we're just kind of mapping over the keys. In fact, we don't even need that part, um, to remove the operate, the, th the thing imaging there. So we could call this like, uh, you know, squish. Um, yeah, and th there's, there's a common type utility that exists in some libraries, which is essentially, um, like calculate or process, mm -hmm. which yeah. um, forces the compiler to uh, take as many inference steps as it can to create like a clean type result at the end. Yep. Um, cool. Which I would definitely recommend people look up. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, it's a fun one. So, all right, let's go on to the next one. <laughs>